guys. Um, I don't know. It's Saturday. I think. Uh, I don't know. Sorry. It's just Saturday. Okay. Saturday, 16th, 7th. Oh, I think it's the 17th. I think it is because I was on Facebook this morning. Um, I went to my store because I asked them to bring in a shipment of this stuff because they only had two on the shelf. The two they had on the shelf, I had, I didn't want. Like, I, I've already had most of the stuff, so I didn't care for it. Um, so, I asked them to order a new box. And every single box seems to have a different pattern. Like, I thought that I bought them all the first time. But then every box that seems to come in has more patterns I don't have. So now it's kind of become almost like an obsession I want to collect. This one's pretty cute. Um, so is this one. Um, so, yeah, I bought eight uh, because one... Um, I only have 12 and I like to do the laundry at least a little after two weeks. So I need at least 14. So I will short two at least. Well, three. One for in use and two, two weeks worth in the wash. But um, I just couldn't resist. Uh, these ones were extra. I didn't really want to buy these ones. This one I didn't care to get. And the pink one I have a lot of plain from Walmart, right? But uh, these four I wanted so badly. But this is the four I set out to get. <laughs> These are the ones I bought on top of the ones that I, you know. So, anyhow, uh, I definitely will have enough now, at least until I ever buy a second unit to my cage. Until I buy one more cage. Um, at least minimum. And even then, I might not have two eating areas. This is only for the eating area where you see the brown, tan colored one. Um, that's just covering the fleece. It makes me. It makes it easier to change out the hay. All I do is just un unwrap this thing from the fleece that's underneath it, and just dump it in there, and then scrape off the hay with the brush, and then I just toss it in the wash. It just makes it easier, especially with the alfalfa now. Um, that came to about twenty, twenty one dollars. <laughs> I knew that though when I walked in the store that I might be walking out paying twenty. Uh, that is going to go on my balance owing, mind you. Um, I'm already at 290 owing. Uh, I might be able to pay up to 200, up to 1100. So I actually might only owe about, well, 290 because of what I just bought. Uh, but originally it would have been 250 that I owed. Um, I spent about 60 today. Uh, some of this stuff is essential. Um, I bought one of these. This was only three ninety five, so four dollars. It's glass. Um, it's exactly the same as these things I like to put my treats in. Uh, this one is one twenty five. This is a really good deal. My store sells this for three ninety nine. So this one they don't even carry. Um, oh, and I did buy something else. Hold on. And this is the most. Well, it's not insane, but this is the first time for me. Um, I generally do not buy, um, I, I've actually chose not to buy from this store because of the fungus for my babies, the store I got the, the chinchillas from, but they're the only guys that are selling this, and this is really good for my babies, and I don't want to go with Oxbow, I'm running out of options, I don't want to use KT, I don't want to use Great Choice by PetSmart, I don't want to use Oxbow, I, I'm running out of choices. So I wanted to get this brand. They're the only store that sells this brand. Um, but I will never be buying animals from them, that's for sure. Uh, because of the fungus, it's really not fair. I mean, you can be skimpy on your animals that you sell so long as it doesn't affect their health. But, you know. Anyway, I did buy this. This was really expensive. It was $30. Um, but it is cheap. It's five pounds. And it when I multiplied... Oxbow, which was six ninety nine for the Oxbow Healthy Handfuls, the little circle rings. Um, when I multiplied it by five, because uh, Oxbow sells the Healthy Handfuls in one pound for for six ninety nine. So when I multiplied it by five, it came to thirty four something. This is only twenty nine ninety nine. So this came out to be cheaper too. So I decided to buy that because I could have bought four and a half pounds at one and a half pounds for for ten dollars. So when I multiplied it, this was still cheaper, so I might as well just pay it now. It wasn't planned. I, I would have just bought $10 worth, but I'm, I'm losing about half a pound of food 
if I buy it at $10 each time. So I might as well just buy one big bag. Um, this should last me about half a year almost. Um, so, I don't know. We'll give it a try, but they seem to really, really like it. I do apologize for the HEPA. It's making a lot of sound. But as you can see, there's virtually nothing left. I mean, this is how tasty it is. Okay, this is what's left. It's mostly shells and a couple pieces that almost look like cornflake. This is what the mix looks like. So you can, you can see that they ate everything. Everything. And they don't have rabbit pellets. They don't have, uh, hold on. You know the stuff that's in your Timothy pellets? They don't have that in here. That's why the hamsters like it so much. They eat everything, which means they're getting a complete diet and they're not being picky because they like everything. So that's why I got it. Oh, and this is for this bot, this jar is for this. This is for the spare chinchilla pellet because I am going to order these in six pound packages, uh, six pound deliveries. Uh, because it just comes out to be cheaper if I order more. But I don't want to leave it in the paper bags, which is why I had to invest in a container. Uh, the rest of the stuff will go in the regular container that I usually have it in. And this one is going to be for the, um, the cranberries, the dried organic cranberries that I ordered from Forever Feisty Chinchillas. Uh, this is for that one. Um... I do have one more jar. I don't know what that one's for yet. I don't remember, but I do know I needed to pick up one. So I did. Okay, that's all. I'll show you some more videos later of the babies, the chins.